We still haven't seen a, a, a 50 under 38 seconds like we saw in that previous heat from Catherine Douglas, who was 13. I, meant, I failed to mention she's 13 years old, so she still has a ways to go to learn how to swim that 200 breaststroke. All right, so the, let's set up this A final for you in lane number one. That's Ashley Pale from Lincoln Select Swimming. In lane two is Olivia Anderson from Aqua Jet Swim Team. Three, Madeline Vonderhaar from Northern Kentucky Clippers. Four, Riley Scott from Moran Pirates. Five, Margaret Orosti from Long Island Aquatic Club. Ashley McCauley is in lane number six from Marlins of Raleigh. Jacqueline Hill is in seven from Chattahoochee Gold. And Alexis Winger from Gross Point Gators is in eight. The Riley Scott is far and away the class of the field here. She's a lifetime best of 231.11. No one comes within five seconds of her in terms of a lifetime best. We'll see what the competition's like here at the NCSA Juniors in the Turner Breast A final. Margaret Arosti has been having a great meet. Doing some major lifetime best here. And we're gonna see how well she performs here against Riley Scott, who I said is lifetime best is five seconds ahead of everybody else. And it's Vonder Haar in lane three has got the lead at after 50, 33-55. Now Riley Scott trying to pull away here as we approach the 100 meter mark. It's still Vonderhaar though by one tenth of a second. 38 eights on those fifth, that 50 for both of them. Margaret Arosti, look at her now. She's trying to pull away. Riley Scott, Madeline Vonderhaar, all challenging still. I didn't expect the race to come out to shape up this way. I thought maybe Riley would have a little bit more of a challenge than maybe winning by five seconds, but I did not expect Malin Vonderhaar to be leading for the first three legs. Let's see if she can continue that. Now Rosti and Scott are pulling away. And it's gonna be going down to the touch. Looks like it might be Riley Scott. It will be Riley Scott, 232-52. Second place went to Margaret Rosti. The second, second place with Olivia Anderson snuck in there, really snuck in there. Like really just like did not see her coming along. 233.40. And then third, Margaret Arosti, 233.52. Fourth place, Madeline Bonderhaar, 233.61. Well, we got five ladies under the Olympic trials qualifying time through 34.96 for Ashley McCauley, Marlins of Raleigh. 